Hey guys, this is Bob from BBD. I've been fast and furious. A lot of headline news, just points of what's been happening. First one, we, we spoke about the Ashoka University and luckily Ashoka strike called off after demands met. Then we have something on the farmers. Farmers Bharat Band may impact normal life in Punjab and Haryana today. It's still going on, folks. Uh, the other one that is interesting is government junks plan to allow trials of BT Brinjal, other transgenic crops. I got mixed feelings here. Well, I got a feeling if you go with transgenic crops, the biggest loser is the diversity of our agriculture. And do we want to lose that? Hey, I'm not so sure there, folks. Now, what do we have here? Rawat says Pawar should head UPA. Congress hits back. I am actually with Rawat. I think the Congress actually has lost its ability to lead the UPA. The other one, BJP leaders meet LG Baijal against new excise policy. This is about booze and the limits being dropped to 21. This is despite the entire country. The lim age, age, age limit is 21. Why the hell have we got this crazy? I mean, you want to fight everything that's good for this country. Freedom of I don't understand. I mean, but then you can't, uh, you know, you can't really uh, give BJP any brains or anything like that, right? And this is again same thing. BJP urge, urges LG to stall new excise policy. Hey, I just hope that doesn't happen, right? Now, what do we have here? Interesting. BJP really doesn't have much to sell in terms of promises as far as elections are concerned. So, what do we have here again? BJP promises law on Sabrimala temper, love jihad and jobs and jobs in manifesto. Shah campaigns in Kerala targets chief minister. <laughs> I love this. How sliding crude state polls brought about fuel price cut. Hey, what happened all these all these months? And now all of a sudden, just because the elections are on and you want to win uh, West Bengal, you cut prices. Hey, but guys, watch it. You don't trust these guys bearing free gifts because just as the elections are over, they're going to hike this up again, right? Then you have Bengal is no Tamil Nadu. With BJP making rapid strides, are we approaching the end of Bengali exceptionalism, says Sagrika goes? Well, let me just tell you. I think Bengali ex exceptionalism was always a fraud. Right? It was always cloaked in this communist uh, 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 Badralok uh, 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 curtain. But beneath it, it's an extremely casteous state. So I'm not so what the exceptionalism is all about. BJP is just going about and using it just like it's used everything else, right? CAA and NRC, two states, two fronts for BJP. Amazing. CAA and NRC. Assam, you have your, 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 your Bharatiya Janta Party says regarding the CAA and the NRC in election bound West Bengal, Assam became obvious on Tuesday when the party released its manifesto. He said basically releasing the poll manifesto that said CAA cannot be changed. And in the other case, NRC, this is kind of amazing, but this is brilliant. Congress promises Gaushalas in every district in a set. Hey, I've got a new look. I've got a new campaign mudda. How about part shalas in every in every in every district in a sense? The biggest flaw of the Congress post-independence for India, where it let us down completely, and with this country, this government is also letting us down equally completely, is going after Gaushalas instead of part shalas, folks. Part shalas, home human beings matter a lot more to us than cows, for God's sake. Right, next we go. How people dress what they eat is a Neta's business, says Smriti Irani. Hey, I am glad some of these BJP women have come out finally with a voice. In my opinion, they actually, people like Smithy Irani, Minakshi Lekhi, uh, Shaina Hensi, have actually been one of the worst uh, enemies of women in India itself because they've never come, and, uh, come out and spoke. And they've spoken with the same tongue, Keep your women inside, they'll be safe. Hey, that's not that's not a country for, for, for girls. A, a country for girls is where they're all equal, folks. Yeah. But that tryst with the stupidity continues. Man assaulted, forced to chant slogans. One held. A man was allegedly kicked, punched, and forced to chant Hindustan Zindabad. UP. Tryst with going downhill continues. UP. Two sisters found dead in fields. Field day after they went missing. This is not a this is not a caste kind of killing. It just seems a honor killing. I'm told, right? That's equally bad. 
UP student dies a month after she was set a uh, set a fire. <laughs> Again, cops. Hathras victims can refuse to attend hearing this about that. If you remember the, 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 the story about the girl, the Dalit girl who got raped and all that stuff because of fear. That's not the way it's supposed to happen. But again, UP. Frame picked up for telling police to pay up. Dhaba owner in UP fights back. I'm glad somebody's fighting back. The other state that's going equally downhill as far as this is concerned, along with UP. Months, 11 months of MP Love Jihad law. 20, I mean, one, uh, two months of MP Love Jihad law, 21 cases, couple knew each other in, oh, in over half of them. Now it's become, a, it's become a joke, right? Tuesday sees meat shops closed in Gurgaon. Sellers say left with no choice. And I think, I think this, this is not right, in my opinion, right? I think in any free thinking person in an economy that you want to be liberal, this is something you can't do, right? MP, three days after VHP convoy targeted during demolition drive, Nateri still tense, curfew, curfew on. Three days after curfew was placed in Lateri Tehsil of Vidisha, district tensions prevailed in the region, but the situation was under control. Oh, Raj. Ah, I love this. Burka, an inhumane practice, should be banned, says UP Minister. Let me just say this. I partially agree with that, right? Burka, if it is done out of free will, it should absolutely be allowed and it is not a crime. But if it's forced on somebody, then obviously I think it is against human rights, in my opinion. However, look at our religion. Whether you look at the Hindu religion, whether you look at the Sikh religion, you see in villages, women also cover their faces with dupatta. So there's something obviously common in this process in this region. So, hey, who's to tell? But this is the fun one. Nuns' detention in UP <laughs> creates Kerala pole for all. Nuns, right? Here we have nuns carrying two uh, understudies, and you have this VHP gundas, as usual, uh, which is this uh, uh, gundas who say that they are basically conversion. Shah promises action as row over nuns' harassment in UP intensifies. BJP offers a love jihad law in Kerala manifesto to love jihad, love jihad. And then you have rights derailed, enforcing nuns of a train railways and UP police officials surrendered to vigilantes. They must be held accountable. I agree. Then you have interfaith couple releases videos, seek scrutiny in wake of threats, want to return home but scared say interfaith couple days afterwards. Here, it is a Muslim girl marrying a boy from the Valmiki community. So hey, none of the communities are less guilty both are equally guilty and it's a shameful it's absolutely a shameful uh, uh, situation in india but here the muslims don't want them to buy back so it's, but it just seems to be all anti dalit doesn't it i'm sure that if this this muslim girl had married somebody of a higher community i don't think anybody certainly then here's a point justice de delayed is justice denied sc pulls up government over delay in appointment of judges and this is an interesting one, nice one. SC quashes Patricia FIR says free seat speech can't be stifled by criminal cases. And the way he put it is, can't understand how call for rule of law led to FIR stand vindicated, says Patricia. Good. Then what do we have here? High court to hear Akbar plea against Ramani, acquittal today. I mean, hey, high court should junk this Akbar, Akbar's plea. This is kind of wrong. And look at what, what justice delayed does. Akhlaq lynching court begins trial five years after murder, which is a sad state of mind. But here, this is an interesting point, folks. For, for every one degree rise in temperature, output of factories dips by 2%. US study finds link between heat and drop in production. So here's for all those guys who have criticized India's productivity and gone run come go about China's productivity of the US. It's the weather, folks, especially in India, when factors of production, high cost of power, there was no way of our, our capitalists were going to invest in air conditioning and air cooling because then they won't be able to compete. What's the other thing we have? There are more Kiranas and FMCG is happy. Kirana stores have increased by 15%. So e-tailers defer on e-commerce FDI in meeting with DPIIT. I, I think we should let this be because the Kirana stores are anyway increasing. And where do we worry? Adani to buy 58% in Vizag's Ganga Varam port. Adani port is going to be the next albatross around this government's neck if they don't watch out, folks. Cheers.